EA Sports. It's in the game. Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Donald Cerrone. Well, if any modern era UFC athlete is worthy of a Hall of Fame distinction despite having never realized a UFC title, I would submit to you Donald Cowboy Cerrone. His resume reads like a UFC record book and he just keeps on getting better. Every time you think Cowboy is starting to get to the end of the rope, he reinvents himself. He makes some small change to his game that allows him to compete at the highest level. The run that he went on after beating Alexander Hernandez and then coupling that with the massive victory over Ally Aquinta, you thought watching that you were watching the very best Cowboy Cerrone you've ever seen. And this is at the tail end of a career that spanned over a decade. And his new source of motivation, his son, Danger, these are very legitimate championship aspirations for Donald Cowboy Cerrone, trying to move one step closer here tonight. Well, the celebrities are out, the floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I gotta be in the first row behind the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas, they come in groups, they want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself, trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. He won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation. He takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. McGregor is 32, Cerrone is 37. McGregor will have a one inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC 
UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 36 wins, 17 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, not fight. of how this fight goes, but round one is now underway. Donald Cerrone, Conor McGregor, your thoughts on what we might see here? This is going to be a phenomenal matchup between two of the best strikers in the UFC. McGregor needs to go forward, put Cerrone on his back foot, and Cerrone has to mix everything in into this matchup if he wants a chance to beat Conor McGregor. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Ooh, I, I don't do that as well as you do. Man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us an ooh -ee, please? Ooh. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Cerrone gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to... Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pop. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Posturing up now. Oh man, that was slick. Second oh, round, man. straight ahead. That was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, 
It's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. Let's go fight, guys. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. And both guys really throwing with authority. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Just unable to quite find that ring. Connection right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Now trying to trap an arm. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like... Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Gotta be careful, arm bar. Nicely done. Just over two minutes to go. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC. Or no, you don't want him on your back. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. Full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 54 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Well, it. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, I try again, he's able to get him down. Persistence aims, and that's what we saw right. with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke here, but there's a lot of pressure. All right, so perhaps a little frustration creeping right. in as our next round gets underway. Very close to submitting his opponent in the previous round, but was unable to do so. Wasn't able to do it, but he was so, so very close. He just tried to put himself back in that position, and maybe this time he gets the finish he wants so bad. Dig and kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. 72 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor, and unofficially... Big kick.
him land. Cerrone's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, nice job using his Wow. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cowboy Cerrone. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning on armbar. You cannot. in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Attack an armbar. And he's out. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend with the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to chase that finish down. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Arch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, has the guard closed here. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and power will be a plenty from this position. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Gregor going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Back to the feet now. Well, Gregor gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round oh, Nice job by him there to get the takedown. I think that gets the Olympians' stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job of getting the takedown when you need it. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You can't.
cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles. Now she's the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Cowboy Cerrone. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many bodies. Oh, oh man, as effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Guard. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. How about that chin? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands Whoa! there. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. McGregor's looking for an on bar here. He is no one trick pony. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Cerrone gets back up. No surprise there. Well, no surprise. He goes for the takedown there. Unable to get the fight to the canvas. Chad. This is a testament to his opponent. His ability to see the shots coming defend them and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, and he is getting... Oh! Oh! He's still looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a performance! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rugliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! Oh, well,
Well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be carried to the club tonight.